Welcome to TakasaGeeks.com. Justin here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Gymnastic Samurai part of our fall anime 2020 coverage. This is episode one, and you can watch this anime on Funimation. You should be watching. As always, here's a brief synopsis. Joe, a former member of the national team, had given his life for gymnastics. However, things changed one day when Joe was told by his coach to retire, but he can't bring himself to tell his family. This was a very... Ah, I have mixed feelings about this one because on one hand we have a slice of life drama and then the tone just completely shifts. I think, believe it or not, this will be a really, really good anime about a former, former athlete having to retire. If the main focus, if the anime stuck to the focal point of this retired, um, soon to be injured, re retired, um, injured athlete who has to retire and kind of adapt to normal life and leave the spotlight and leave the sporting field and him having to raise his daughter because his wife did pass. He is a single dad. I think if they focus on that, this would have been top of the line anime for me for just from a story and character standpoint because it would have fallen into the slice of life genre. But I think what kind of brings the anime down is that they add this silly ninja samurai element to it where in the second half of the arc of the act of the first episode, he takes his daughter to this amusement park or just this park where he met him and his wife had this honeymoon and they had like this ninjas displays and shows that's going on and they actually encounter a real ninja who is on a run from an agency and he doesn't want to be deported so he follows them back to his place and then you find the backstory about how um joe's mom built the house and used to be a samurai or something like that or, or owns the house and she's letting the ninja stay there and that all kind of for me took out of the whole setup of this guy throughout this whole, whole episode is trying to tell his daughter that he has to retire. He's beat up, he's hurt, he can't really do gymnastics anymore. And a lot of it is you see throughout the episode of Joe's character is Joe's pride. He can't really tell his daughter that he's going to retire and he can't bring himself to do it towards the end of the episode either when he holds a press conference and he says he's not going to retire because a lot of it is how his daughter views him. His daughter looks up to him and, you know, he's doing this, you know, for his family and things like that. So what point of uh, the at risk of his health? Because he is injured, clearly, because it's been established throughout the episode. But I think the anime would have been way better if they got rid of this samurai element. So I'm going to give this a C-. I'm going to give this... Ooh, I'm gonna give it a three. You know what? Let me let me bump it up a bit. I'm a yeah no C minus. I'm gonna give this three stars out of five. Um, I think the samurai element kind of ruined it for me. I think if they would have just focused on Joe and his daughter and an athlete and how an athlete has to deal with retirement, I think I would have liked this way way better. But I just felt like the samurai element became too campy and just too cliche for me. Um, but overall. If you like it, leave a comment below. What did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? As always, you can visit us at thetacosofgeeks.com if you're watching it from there. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, share, and subscribe to our channel if you like what we do here. More stuff is on the way. Follow us on Instagram at thetacosofgeeks. And, of course, facebook.com slash thetacosofgeeksblog. This is Justin saying later days. Oh, by the way, the animation's not that bad. They had a little bit of weirdness with the CGI blending in with the 2D in the opening scene when he was doing his gymnastics. Music's on point, and the um, voice acting's good, too. So, that's all I have to say about this show. Later days.